Welcome to this demonstration of VMware Virtual SAN automated deployments. In this demo, I will showcase the extensible configuration flexibilities of Virtual SAN by using PowerCLI to automate the preparation and configuration necessary in a virtual infrastructure to deploy an all-flash Virtual SAN stretch cluster for multi-data center use cases across Layer 3 networks. The sample script used in this demo performs the setup and creation of all of the necessary vSphere-related artifacts to successfully form an eight-node all-flash cluster across multiple sites with a single PowerCLI script. This script can be used in any physical and vSphere infrastructure where the necessary physical network configurations and settings for virtual SAN deployments across Layer 3 have been satisfied and successfully implemented. The script will perform some of the following functions. The creation of the virtual data center, adding and configuring the virtual SAN witness appliance to the data center, creating the vSphere cluster construct as well as adding the host automatically to the cluster, create the necessary networking components and settings such as distributed switches and port groups, as well as host-related information ranging from DNS settings, NTP services, VM kernel interfaces, and adding the necessary VLANs for the networks. It will also enable the virtual SAN cluster and its networking services. In order to successfully communicate across the three different routed networks, we will need to add static routes. The script will not only add the necessary static routes, but it will also validate that there's communication between all three different networks by sending pings across the different nodes within the cluster across the three different networks. Once that's completed, the flash storage devices, which were provided by Micron to form multiple disk groups per host, will then be claimed. At this point, the data store will be created once all of those functions have been successfully performed, we're left to simply enable the cluster with a few clicks directly from the UI. Enabling stretch cluster is not yet available in the latest version of PowerCLI. Once the cluster is fully configured and ready, you'll need to add the HA and DRS recommended settings before you proceed with the creation and deployment of virtual machines and their networks. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.